Alright, hey everyone, Waterbots here, and welcome to Fuga Melodies of Steel. It's a game about a bunch of, I, I guess, war orphans piloting a giant, uh, ancient sci-fi tank thing. I, I've seen a little bit of it, and it looks very like Metal Slug crossed with Hell's Moving Cast... Castle. 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 It looks there like it's, that's the tank up in the yeah, corner, right? Yeah, that's the right? tank in the, the top right, and it's apparently, like, super special for some reason. I don't know why the kids are able to pilot it. Or, you know, why they can't just get other people to pilot it, but maybe you know what, whatever. Maybe it's one of those things where it's absolutely ancient and only serves the pure of heart. Oh, maybe. <laughs> anyway, uh, so this came out a week ago, but I was on vacation, so I didn't get the chance to check it out. And so now we're going to, just because it looks really interesting. I don't think I'm going to have time to actually do any kind of series on this sort of thing, but I at least want to, you know, give it a look-see, see how it is. Because the concept is so weird and so cool. And very anime. <laughs> Though it looks like they're anthropomorphic. Yes, but I mean, anime anthropomorphic. Anna, I'm scared. It's all right, May. Everything will be all right. Uh, I'm getting dizzy. Get off of me, you big baby. I, I, I think we may be going too fast. But if we don't hurry, everyone from the village will be taken away. With claws of steel digging incessantly into the earth, the massive beast of iron shot its way through the midnight wood. Along with the merciless screeching and vibrating metal, it carried the children forward and onward. They found refuge in a tank. It was as though they had been swallowed up in the belly of a ferocious beast of war. You should see the enemy up ahead uh, soon. Watch out. Malts! We're almost upon them! Alright, with this thing, we might have a chance to get them back, for sure! Whoa! Oh, wait! Are they Germans? Yeah. If they're the Burmans? Yeah, they're the Burmans. So I guess this is kind of like a weird alt anthropomorphic World War II. Mm. What's with this thing? It's a monster! <laughs> I don't no, know if you. I, I, I don't can't know do if you it. necessarily nah. want to do that for them. Make it didn't them do anything. Yeah, I'm just gonna do my like rough deep voice. and growly. I mean, they <laughs> yeah. they look like they're they're yeah. supposed to be more Doberman. I don't know what the other dogs. my Germanic accent is very lilty. <laughs> I, I think we're okay. This thing's pretty tough. Don't get cocky. If we don't fire back, we're goners. It seems you've met the enemy, but don't worry. I'll teach you how to fight with the Tyrannus. Believe in the Terence's power and fight. I wonder who's over the radio. Is it... It might actually just be, like, the AI, but it could be a radio. Yeah, you're right. It could be a radio. I don't know. That's right. We have to fight. If we don't, everyone from the village will be taken away. Also, they're in a massive tank compared <laughs> yep. to that little thing. Destroy your enemies with the three gun turrets on the giant tank Tyrannus. Tyrannus. That's a... That's Children placed at the gun turret will attack with their skilled weapon type. Select grenade launcher. So Hannah's best with grenade launcher? Looks like it. Wow. Took out almost half its health. I like it how the, the tank gun has the like German war hamlet. Now it looks like it's turning red. Does that mean it's overheating? I don't think so. Or I is think it, it just might turn just be order. the color. Um, um Jagdhun. Its attack is slightly high, so try not to get hit. Delay its action and defeat it by safely uh, defeat it safely by attacking with the same color weapons as this clock-shaped weakness icon. Well, Use the formation screen to switch out characters to exploit its weakness. Hund so Hund it's weak to like red. Hound. So Hund. I'm wondering if if this is very much a lot of dog references. Probably. I mean, they're all dogs. Mm -hmm. Experience. Technique D. How dare you? <laughs> In the okay. results, experience points and items can be obtained according to the outcome of the battle. Win the battle quickly to avoid receiving damage and earn more experience points. Ah, oh, everybody, run! Oh yeah, had it coming, suckers. Yay! Yay! Don't you dare go outside there, you two. It's dangerous. What? They're just kids. We'll deal with them later. Retreat! Uh, 
Oh, look, you have a root. Uh, yeah. This is the root progression screen. Various effects will occur when the Tyrannus reaches an event waypoint. Battles occur at this waypoint. The number on the upper right represents the number of consecutive battles. So that's a two battle. Yeah. The Tyrannus' HP is restored at this waypoint. There are other waypoints with various effects. So please check the help for section for more details. So that looks like there might be a shop. Yeah. And... So, item salvage, um, item salvage plus, HP, SP, SP recovery. recovery. Battle intermission. Ooh, an elite battle is in purple. Mm -hmm. Runes expedition, target waypoint intermission. Cool. Advance. And you have bifurcations, so this might actually have multiple routes through. Interesting. So, I think this game is Japanese made, but they've got a lot of French in it, so I could be wrong. So it could be the French versus the, the Germans? Yeah, I, I, th I think the characters are supposed to be French. Mm. The timeline at the top of the screen displays the actions order. The icon displayed under an enemy's HP designates its weaknesses. Attack with a weapon of the same color. Okay, well I can't do anything else. So they're weak to gold at the moment, yep. right? If you attack with weapons of the same color like this, the enemy's action order will be delayed. So you might want to delay that guy, too. It's kind of... Look at that. Their gun turrets have helmets and ears. Yeah, I mentioned that. Oh, you did? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that it resembles a dramatic helmet. I was thinking that the ears were more spikes, but no, you're right. They're 100% just ears. I mean... Some German helmets did have spikes on them. Yeah. At least the older ones. Aerial enemies have high evasion rate. Weapons with a high accuracy are effective against these enemies. Let's switch placements on the formation screen. Oh, so the kid with the hair over one eye and then the young girl have the blue weapons. Yep. Here you can see the abilities of each of the children placed at three gun turrets. This is information about the top gun turret. The cursor is placed on the attacker position. Weapon attribute effects and damage depend on the abilities of the attacker. Now let's switch to Hannah, who is currently selected with another child. Select May. Oh. The machine gun used by May has high accuracy as an effective against aerial enemies. Next, let's switch Malt with Kyle. Select Malt. Okay. Now there are two children with machine guns and one with a grenade launcher. Okay, attack the aerial units. Well... I'm digging this. It's a weird it's a weird little idea, but it works from like a tactical mm -hmm. RPG format. I'm usually pretty bored of turn-based battles, but nowadays it feels Oh well, look, you got S for technique. You did receive some damage. Yeah, it's because I was using their weaknesses against them. You fought well. Hang in there. I know you can do it. The voice on the radio spoke words of comfort. However, doubt and fear of what may lie ahead would not allow them to fully savor this victory. Advance. <laughs> it's just going to it just roll eats over it. the HP. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Mm -hmm. Supplies. Got a repair kit. Got a repair kit. I swear that was like a Robin... It might have been a Robin Williams movie where he was like an alien and he would eat by sitting on things. What? Yeah. This I... is the enemy's armor rank, which represents their defensive power. This enemy has high armor, which makes it difficult to damage. So let's use May's skill. Piercing shot from the skill command to attack. Lowers the enemy's armor rank by one. Piercing shot. Three hit attack. Okay. In exchange for consuming SP, you gain the upper hand in battle by using skills well. So give it a shot. SP can be recovered at recovery points along the route, and also by clearing chapters and using recovery items. 
The way that this tank is, it almost reminds me of that movie that we've never seen, the one with the giant cities. Oh, yeah. Around. The one that you really wanted to see. I wanted to see it because it was a Peter Jackson film and also based off of a book series. I'm like, oh, oh that, that's a good combination, right? But I suppose it was a flop, so they probably weren't going to continue with it. Wasn't it like Mortal Engines or yeah. something like that? But just the idea of having whole cities on giant tanks trundling along, you know, a, a largely post-apocalyptic Earth and then just devouring each other? Because they could do that. And what, London was the largest and most voracious? Yeah. I mean, it's an interesting concept. I heard the book was all right. Uh-huh. I don't know. I, uh... Oh, look. Oh, hello. I hope Grandma and Grandpa are okay. Don't worry. We'll get to them soon. So what's up with the weird voice on the radio? Who the heck is it? Yeah, I don't know. Who could it be? Hold up. You think we can trust her? Oh, okay. It's the voice on the radio is a her. Yeah, there's Japanese voices that it could turn on, but it was like they would go like, da 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 what da Uh-huh. But only, like only like part of the line. Only some of yeah. it, yeah. If it was the full thing, I would have considered just letting it go like dubs, uh, dub versus sub. But since it was only partial, it's like, nah. I don't know, but whoever she is, she helped us back there. We might have no choice but to trust her. Great, just great. Guess we ain't got a choice then. Nah. The children's tension gradually eased as they drifted off to sleep. All the while thinking, why? Why did any of this have to happen? Wait, are there sky islands? Islands or maybe? Things? Oh, this is what their petite Mona. Twelve hours before, so this is their tiny town. Petite Mona, an ordinary village on the outskirts of the free lands of Gasco. In this little village, we lived simply in quiet peace every day. I took care of blue sheep. Looked after May. Oh, oh, this is actually the guys talking. Oh, you're and right. And my friend Hannah is always with us, too. I took care of moose sheep, looked after May, and my hen my friend Hannah was always with us, too. Wait, so are moose sheep cow sheep? Yeah, I guess so. Then there was Big Eater Boron, Brainiac Socks, and Kyle, the transfer student from the city. Our daily lives were always filled with peace. We never thought that would change. Wait, some of them have long tails. Are they cats? Oh, maybe you're right. Look they could, at, they look, could be cats. Look at the long, thin tails. I no, think they're cats you're right, and you're dogs right. are the enemy. Uh, huh? Uh, uh, run. Or actually, no, it's supposed to be hurry. Uh, like run. hurry. Yeah. It was just kind of spots like... Huh? Oh, that's small, actually. Uh, huh? Why is the radio? Oh no, Zeppelins! Doggone it. No! How could you? That's Except definitely that guy, a dog. That guy though. looks like a dog, though. Our village! Our beautiful petite Mona! It's horrible! Hey, you there! Get over here! Don't resist! No! Stop that what? rough Wait, behavior! Wait, his name is Pretzel? Pretzel. <laughs> My name is Pretzel. There's no need to take the lives of civilians. Oh, oh, is he their leader? As you well know, we have orders to take as many of them alive as possible. Yes, sir! Damn it! Damn it! We must run. To the mountain cave. Huh? 
Is there something wrong, Cur Colonel Pretzel? Wait, wait, wait. Mountain cave? Is this just going to be the kind of giant ancient tank yes. hidden in the I, mountain? 100% it is. When I said it's very anime, I mean, like, it's it's owning a lot of the tropes. Uh -huh. I'm fine with it, though. Like, I haven't seen a lot of these tropes in a while without, like, excessive fan service. So I'm kind of fine. I, I'm kind of up for a game actually playing it pretty straight. Mm-hmm. Uh... I'm really digging the, like, art style for this game. It looks oh, really yeah. nice. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's really well inked and yeah. kind of watercolory. Yeah, very watercolory. No, it's nothing. Once the villagers have been taken, proceed with our withdrawal. Yes, sir! <sighs> How shameful. Why did we have to attack such a strategically meaningless village like this? Because it has a mega tank in the mountain! Because plot device. Where are the others? Taken, I bet, by those damn Bourbon soldiers. Impossible. They said the war wouldn't reach remote places like this. Alt, where's Grandma and Grandpa? Uh. May. That voice said to hide in the cave? This ain't a trap, right? I don't know, but let's check it out. Wait, so they just happened to have... Was it a family heirloom that they just have this odd radio? Coulda. I... This must be it, the cave. Look at those ancient markings. Yeah. But isn't this old forbidden ground? Yeah, that's correct. It must be the forbidden it must be forbidden for a reason. I'm scared. It's dark. I I ain't afraid. Okay, let's head in with our eyes peeled. Everybody stick with me, alright? Wait, don't leave me behind! There we go. What the heck is this? It must be a tank, but I never imagined they were this large. A tank? It's huge! Bigger than a windmill in the village! Hey, looks like we can get in over there. Do you think it's safe? Let's take a look. May, stay with me. Uh, okay. This must be the tank's control room. Seriously? Maybe we can rescue everybody with this thing. But there's no handle. How are we supposed to operate it? Not even I know. But it seems like it'll fall apart if we touch it wrong. We gotta do something. Aw, I thought we could save everybody. Grandma! Grandpa! Mom! Our village! Please, please move. God, save us! Hello, yes, I am the machine god. <laughs> powered by gun. It, it moved. Now we can save everybody. Uh, uh, all right. Go! Go! Ah! Wake up, it's those Berman bastards. They're attacking us. Sorry guys, get ready. We need to fight back. Alright. So I got a bunch. A couple of enemies with armor. We have one flying. Yeah, but I think I'm gonna... Delay who I can. Yeah, delaying all the ones that... Okay, formation will be locked for three turns. This should be fine. And then you need a red gun for that one on the left. Yep. yep. Unfortunately, red gun is pretty well armored. Mm hmm. Well, you got rid of one enemy at the very least. Skills. Lullaby. HP recovery. Oh, that's HP recovery. Yeah. Trash. Not too helpful. Ouch. Oh, look at that. Air blow. Eesh. 
Oh, so that breaks an armor? No. What so happened? I it scooted down to defend. What else do we have? I guess we gotta keep doing piercing shot anyway. I didn't mean to do defend, but it just skipped down two options because mm -hmm. reasons. Mm -hmm. Though I will say defend did work out really well for me. It's just this is not the character I want to defend. So frag shot hits everybody. Got it. Ah, but Probably there's, there's still that one armor. Eh. There you go. A, A, and S. S for technique. Damage oh, up. they have individual levels for the characters? Yep. So they have different stats that... I don't know if I see customizations for them, though. Not yet, anyway. Mm-hmm. Let's see. So technique is actually there's a lot that goes into that, but we'll deal with that later. Oh look, is that a major checkpoint at the very end of that? Yes. Energy cell. Yeah, hopefully we get to customize the tank later. Well, this seems like something. It seems like they're gone. It's safe to rest for now. Yeah, that was pretty exhausting. Yes, having to suddenly fight in a tank like this, I'm worried how the others are. Let's go check on them. The calm. We got intermission. I didn't realize it until now, but it really is huge inside the Tyrannus. What marvelous technology to have faci such facilities to live inside a tank. This is where you can upgrade the tank and interact with the children. As you progress with the story, various facilities and functions can be expanded. I'm gonna explore a bit. Okay, but don't go anywhere dangerous. Select May from the character switch screen. Oh, they have little 3D models for them here. Aww. Switch character? Yeah. Control May to explore the interior of the Tyrannus. What amazing technology! If we have the materials, we can enhance the performance of the Tyrannus more and more. You can upgrade the Tyrannus' weapons, HP, SP, and more by collecting the necessary materials. That's so cute. Mm hmm The tank even has a kitchen! With this, we can make meals for everyone. No <laughs> problem. Uh, hey! Don't eat all the ingredients before we can cook! By making meals with gathered ingredients and eating together, the children's abilities and resistance will temporarily increase. Oh, so happy eating. Look at all that bread. How did they get bread already? They're French. And also, looks like she's preparing a stew. Of course, he's going to be sulking outside. There's a fishing rod, so I let it drag on the ground and caught some junk. I don't know if any of it's useful, but it's good for taking your mind off things. By scrap fishing, you can obtain various materials to upgrade the Tyrannus' weapons and HP SP in the workshop. May, how was exploring the Tyrannus? Malt, it's so cool! It's a tank, but it has places to eat and fish! Uh, it surprised me so much, I'm kind of tired now. Thanks, May, because of you, I know more about this place now. Select malt. Since ah. the character in control gets the most experience, try switching them as needed. The intermission will now conclude. Advance. Why are all of these games so cool? <laughs> like, I just don't have time for them all. It sucks. Battle start. The enemy's coming toward you. What? You're joking. This tank seems stronger than the others. Everybody watch out. Ah. Huh. I am here. You are already surrounded by our garrison. I do not relish fighting pointlessly. Just surrender. This is a battlefield, so I'll, I will show no mercy, not even to children. What? You abducted our families. You gave us no choice. Sh shall we fight? 
What are we going to do? We will fight you. We'll never get them back if we don't. Yeah, who knows if we can win or not if we don't try. Well, what did I expect from children? Such foolishness. Indeed, that machine is impressive, but you are outmatched. I repeat, surrender now, kids. If we give up, maybe they take us for where they're holding everyone, but who's to say we could save them then? It's Grandma and Grandpa. I'm afraid to fight. I ain't afraid. Let's kick their asses. Right! If that means we can save everyone, I'll fight too! Alright, let's do this. Oh yeah, when the anime music starts, uh -huh. you know it's a boss fight. This is war. It's not a place for children to play. It's not like we want to be here. Very well, I suppose you kids will have to face the consequences of your actions. Balmung strike. Ah! It's okay. Why do you still resist? Disarm yourselves and surrender. We stick oh. around because we got fancy anime powers. At this rate, they're all going to die. You are the only one who can save them. Give up your soul for their salvation. Well, that's creepy. I'm the oldest, so I have to protect them. I'll do anything for them. Who's gonna do it if not for me? They're my only friends. I'll do it. If I may be of any assistance, then... I'm scared. The dangerous situ situation unleashes the Tyrannus' hidden power. The soul cannon. Whoa, wait. Select you... the soul cannon for the menu. Can you just <laughs> sacrifice the child's health or... It is the ultimate weapon that can annihilate all enemies with the resolve of a single child. Do you wish to use it? Not really, no. Well, I don't have a choice. Time to fire a child. Wait. 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 We just sacrifice someone? Is that what this is going to well, be? Well, this is messed up. But... Uh, who... What? I... I don't like this. Yeah, this is really creepy. Sacrifice one of your characters. I only have two to voice. Okay, goodbye, <laughs> Boron. I don't know how to voice you anyway. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Boron, where are you going? Let that tubby go. He's probably going to raid the fridge. Wait, so he ran off to go to the soul room? Uh. Oh, no. Huh? Uh, uh, okay, uh, so I should just go inside this? Then everyone will be safe? I don't really get it, but okay. It's quiet here. It makes me hungry. Oh no! Jesus! I don't, I don't, this got dark! I don't like this it. got really dark! Wait, so how many times in this game will you have to use the soul cannon? Gosh, to save I hope yourselves? not often! Is it just gonna consume him? To, oh! You, Loading energy into soul cannon chamber. All crew brace for shock. Proceeding with soul cannon firing sequence. Auto targeting mode on. What the heck? What's a soul cannon? I don't know. Simply do not know. I mean, it, it just ate a soul, I think. Where's Boron? Where did he go? Ah, I'm scared. Please, God, I've got a bad feeling about this. Okay, the weird tendrils and the ancient magic. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world? Is it a weapon? How inauspicious. Take cover, all units, full power withdrawal. Firing soul cannon in three seconds. Three, two, one. Fire. Just not. <laughs> Cripes. Watch it burn half the countryside in the process just, too. No, well, countryside is fine. You, demon. Oh, he just gets incinerated. Wow, That's pretzel. It.
The soul cannon is a powerful weapon that can destroy strong enemies in a single blow, but it has a great cost. It typically... S oh, it is typically sealed and will only be released when the Tyrannus itself deems it necessary for use. What just happened? I don't know, but that light was intense. Hey, check it out, guys. The Burman army's gone. What? Does that mean we're safe now? Haha, <laughs> this thing's freaking awesome. But with this big old jalopy, we can defeat those Burman jerks. Where did Boron go? Oh, he bolted out of here a while ago, probably raiding a pantry somewhere. That's not good. I'll go look for him. <laughs> Why's he gotta be such a pain? Isn't this Boron's towel? Boron? His towel is here on the ground, but he isn't anywhere. The heck? It is as I feared. The soul cannon has been activated, so one of you has u was used as its power source? The Tyrannus' ultimate weapon, the soul cannon, has the power to eliminate any threat. However, in order to function, it requires bioenergy. In other words, a single person's life. Someone sacrificed themselves to become its energy source, and thusly faded away. My children, I understand your sorrow, but unfortunately, all I can do is console you. I promise to do everything in my power to help you reach your objective. Your friend's sacrifice will not have been in vain. Alt? Where did Boron go? I... I couldn't protect him. The children couldn't comprehend everything the voice told them. But one thing was painfully clear. A precious friend was lost forever. Nothing else seemed to matter. Huh! Heartbroken, the children continued on their way. However, that was no concern of the Burman army. A garrison discovered the Tyrannus, and an attack would soon be imminent. My children, you must fight! What are you doing? Fight back! No, don't... Hurry up and attack! You won't lose against this opponent! I can see it. You've lost the will to fight. Wait, you're just standby? I don't have any choice. You don't have a choice? No, it won't let me. Yeah, I can't do anything else. But then, what's gonna happen to the Tyrannus? It could be a time loop thing. I suppose this time, it's inevitable. No one is expected to instantly overcome grief and fear. You can learn from your mistakes. Even if you fail, your struggle will not have been in vain. I'm sure next time will be different. I will help you overcome these hardships and fear. I will always be here, watching over you. What is that supposed to mean? I don't know. This is where we part, until you awaken once more. Until then... Rest well, my child. Child is actually just the tank. Utilizing this power is more than they could handle after all. The fault is my own. I should have used the children's lives more wisely. Of course, winning battles is important. But don't lose sight of our mission. Next time... I shall guide them properly.
This battle has led to an unfortunate ending. Nevertheless, mysterious powers surrounding this world can turn back time. Select retry from before the last intermission from the menu. So, essentially what it's saying is that you just need to play it in such a way that you don't need to use the soul cannon? Pretty much. I think? I don't know. Time has turned back for the children. You are now just before the last intermission you played. Now let's retry this intermission. So this is when you initially explored the place, right? What's the matter, Malt? Are you crying? Huh? What do you mean? Because there are tears on your face. Oh, you're right. I wonder why. Oh, is it because they were returned to their kind of last emotional state or physically they were still crying? Kind of, yeah. And there's only a little bit of them left from before the wipe. Mm -hmm. Jeez, did you fall asleep in dream or something? Everyone is tired. No wonder you might fall asleep. You must have had a sad dream, huh? Malt, are you sad? No, May, I'm, I'm fine. But what is this? This weird feeling. The children did not realize that time has been turned back. Experience gained prior to this will be lost. However, by increasing the children's affinity and strengthening the Tyrannus during intermission, you may be more prepared for the battle than last time. I hope May doesn't feel anxious. Since I'm the oldest, I can o she can always feel safe and rely on me. Increase the affinity between two children by talking to them. Use Malt to talk to Mang. Fire and the sound of boobs are scary. I don't like it. Affinity is increased and improved their support effects. It increases speed after normal attacks and increases attack. Malt and Mace affinities improve, the children's support effects in battle will increase along with their affinity. This icon will appear every time their affinity level reaches a certain point. This is your chance to trigger a link event. Talk to Mei with the character whose icon is displayed, Malt. Link event! So, maybe a special conversation? Mm-hmm. What's up? Why are you so jittery, May? Uh, what kind of people were Mommy and Daddy? Space aliens. It huh? was just Mom, Mom and, and Dad. Dad? Yeah, I don't remember much of them. That's right. They went to paradise when you're just a wee little thing. Oh, are you feeling lonely? I don't know, but I've got Grandma, Grandpa, and you, so I'm not that lonely. Right, you are. We'll just have to hurry and rescue them, huh? without us. Haha, <laughs> I bet you're right. I just, I, I wish it was one of those that, like, you can't sacrifice Mei for some reason. It turns out later she's just a so, robot. are those two siblings and yes. Hannah is a friend. Yes. And then the other, the, the guy with the hair over his face is from the city. I don't know about Sox and Boron. They're just other friends? Yeah, I think so. Just other villagers. When a Link event is, okay. Yeah, blah, so blah, we blah. can just l use Link moves. Doesn't seem like any enemies are around, so let's check out the Tyrannus a little more. Talking to the children and using facilities will consume action points, AP. The remaining AP available during the intermission is displayed at the top left of the screen. Make good use of the limited AP to strengthen both the children and the Tyrannus. Okay. Wait, 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 race! Look, Keninu. So he's a dog. She's a Filaneko. So she's a cat. Wait, how many of them are cats versus dogs? They even mix. So canine, 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 cat, cat, cat. Uh. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, is it just. Wait, what's three socks? Three? Socks is a uh, canine. Oh, uh, okay. So Boron, Hannah, and Kyle are cats? Oh, they're only 10? 11? Okay. Wait a minute. Go back. I want to see the ages of the other children. Where are the ages listed? Down at the bottom. Under oh, gender. 11 years old. 12 years old. 12 years old. 4 years old. 
I remember reading a review and a person unrepentantly just kept firing me with a soul cannon. I'm just like, you are a monster. Now, let's see. There's also hero mode. Piercing shot. Flame grenade. They burn the enemy. Yeah, so frankly, I'm going to just try and avoid the soul cannon period. Mm-hmm. Okay. And Tyrannus. So it looks like we can upgrade machine oh, gun, that. grenade launcher, cannon. Scrap fishing, dormitory, pen, a coop, garden, farm, mess room, and workshop. So I suppose the garden, coop, and pen, and farm would all be for making resources that you would then consume in the kitchen. Looks like it. Library characters... Oh, are these oh. the... unknown characters that we'll meet along the way? Hmm. Link events. Oh, we oh can just... you can replay them by the looks of it. Fair enough. You probably want to cancel. Yeah, I can. That's nice that you can go back, though. Mm -hmm. Not that it really matters. The illustrations. Oh, yeah, the illustrations from the cutscenes. And then the comic pages. Yeah. <laughs> Just can. Oh yes. Who wants to relive the death of Bora? <laughs> Looks like there's a whole bunch. And yeah, comic pages, which I guess we don't have yet. Maybe, maybe there'll be some illustrations later. Oh, look at that, Elite Bat. I really like this game. It's neat. I, I like Use it a lot. Use your AP points now, and let's see what happens when we get to that boss battle okay. again. So, I think I'm gonna start. Let's see, so we have the workshop, we have him. So the talking scrap fishing. to each of the characters. There's the way way to save. I uh, I'm gonna start with scrap fishing just to do once. Mm-hmm. This is a scrap fishing menu. Use a fishing rod, and snag various items on the ground. Spend the facility, increase the functionality of the fishing stand and access a higher difficulty. Okay, choose difficulty. Line and difficulty. The higher the difficulty, the more rare items you can obtain. You will need to obtain the fishing stand first. Using higher level fishing line increases the number of materials you can obtain. Or if it snaps, uh, it will fail if it snaps, so pay attention to the success rate. Level 1 lines will never fail. Okay, well it doesn't look like I can do anything else, so we're just going to cast a line. Oh. A comrade might come to assist tasks during the intermission. When a comrade comes to assist, the success rate of the task will increase. The higher the affinity, the more likely a comrade will come to assist. Let's raise their affinity through conversation and other activities. Aww. That's cute. I, I wonder if they have separate images for every task with both Maybe, of the characters. Yeah. Oh, and they even get some EXP. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, there's also expand, but we can't do that right now. Uh, let's see. Workshop. This is the workshop menu. You can strike through the Tyrannus from the upgrade command. Through facility expansion, you can increase the functionality of the workshop and access more advanced upgrades. Each ability in the Tyrannus can be improved through upgrades. Select the area to... Okay, to upgrade. Need certain materials. Well, what do we need? More armor or better cannons? What was specifically holding us back? So... There was that red one. That one red machine that was a problem to us. But um, armor would also be good, too. But we need more scrap. Sort of. Okay. So do we want to upgrade the machine gun or the grenade launcher? Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to do this and I might try a little bit of, a little bit more fishing. Cuz these require way too many resources that I don't have, but we only need one more rusty Oh, and they have success rates too, but most of those lower ones are at 90 yeah. and 100%. And I bet if we Oof. That reduced success rate is a little... 
It's scary because then it means that you have a one in ten chance of yeah potentially losing out on those resources. Okay. It looks like it might just be the same illustration every time. Oh no! It failed. Okay. Then let's. Why don't you let's go talk back to some characters? Talk to some characters or go to the mess hall. Yeah. Now's my chance to thoroughly examine the construction of the tank. Oh. There we go. Okay. Why don't you go see what puts us up with food? Yeah. You're right. One thing I wanted to check was which characters used. Ah. So we want to. <laughs> we want to pair characters off. So Kyle and May should not talk to each other. Um, realistically, we should probably have Malt and May just work together for a little while. Um, mm -hmm. But so. Also, you can switch characters to have them gain a, a HP or not HP, blah, XP. Yeah. So we might want to do. Was it Kyle and Hannah? I think it was Kyle and Hannah, Boron and Socks. At least currently how they're they're lined up. Um, sure. And yeah, let's let's go take a look at at food. Mess room. Mess room menu. You can cook. Okay. Like the menu, ingredients are required for cooking meals. Increases crit rate. Each meal will give temporary effects. Choose the appropriate meal according to enemies with strong or devastating attacks. Meal effects last until the next intermission. Mm. Since all children eat together, the effects are always attributed to everyone. That so sounds good. Decreases skill cost or increase luck. This also increases attack, increase EXP and affinity. At the moment, they only Ooh. have potatoes and tomatoes. Yeah, but I like bread. <laughs> I'm thinking just the baked potato. Okay. I don't know about skill cost being really much of an issue yet. Potatoes. Potats. We need to make our potatoes. We do. Cooking was successful. Okay. There we go. So we can see our activated meal effects. I wonder if we can have multiple. Probably not. Oh, uh, look at that. Are there eight effects? Yeah, it looks like it. You have five more AP points. Anyone else you want to switch to? To Hannah. Let us just go relentlessly bother Kyle. Who the heck is that woman on the radio? With this tank, we can totally beat the Berman. Dance to deepen your bond. Something you're proud of me for. Hmm. Fashion sense, knowledge of the city. Fashion sense. Okay, sure. He really likes that. He likes being fashionable. Oh, I like your taste. Ask me anything. Link event. Kyle, there is something on my mind. Do you have a moment? S something on your mind? That wouldn't have anything to do with me, would it? Actually, it does. Uh, okay, then. What's on your mind? <laughs> Let's hear it. So, um, Kyle, I was thinking that maybe it would be nice if we could get to know each other a little better. Huh? Get to know each other but better? Yes. I was thinking that it would be nice if you could get along with everyone. Uh, everybody? Yeah, right, everybody. <laughs> yes. Well, uh, did I ask something strange? Nope, it's all good. But you should know, I don't really care about getting along with everybody. Sorry, but if that's all you want to talk to me about, I'm kind of busy, so... Oh, Kyle. He's kind of flustered and maybe intrigued at the possibility of getting to know her, but everybody? Nope. Okay. Um... Fish. Go fish. Rusty yes. Barrel, please give... Yeah, so it's, oh, it's just same illustration image. every time. Yes, got it. Oh, but we're out of AP. Well, that's oh, fine. Oh no, you it's can't even fine. use the improvements. Uh, we improved armor and weapons. 
And I don't think he's going to turbo like mucus this time. Looks like we have a little more time. HP. Please, more HP. Yes, we're at max. Combat again. The enemy's coming toward you. Is it going to be the same dialogue again, I wonder? What? You're joking. This tank seems stronger than the others. Everybody watch out. Yeah, it is the same. Yeah. A snapper, 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 dab. You're surrounded. A snap, dab, 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 this is war. It's not the children of uh, uh, children of play of things of gun. Well, wait, okay. I thought he had different dialogue there. Uh, no. By turning back time, the children can challenge the powerful pretzel once again. Man, I want to eat the pretzels downstairs now. From here on, when the Tyrannus nears a crisis of, in specific battles, the restriction on the soul cannon will be lifted. You can defeat most powerful enemies in a single blow with the soul cannon, but you must be prepared to make a great sacrifice. Still, depending on how you fight, you might be able to defeat the enemy without using the soul cannon. It true. Examine the enemy. Find its weakness. That moving part up there. It seems they'd rather us not attack there. Alright, let's focus our attacks there. We gotta try something. Yeah, that thing that doesn't have any armaments. Or, not armaments, um... Yeah. Any defenses? To defeat Pretzel, use all the resources of the Tyrannus and the children. Aim for the weakness, the tower. Attack and deactivate the tower to prevent it from healing the main body. Oh. Okay, and defend will reduce damage for two turns. So, so you can still attack while defending. It's effective when fighting strong enemies. Be sure to defend before heavy hitting attacks. And you can use link attacks by setting characters with high affinity on the same gun turret. Link attacks can be used when the link attack gauge of a pair with high affinity at the same gun reaches max. Mold may have high affinity, so let's use the formation screen to place them on the same turret. If you switch to another child along the way, the gauge will stay the same. Okay. So, I'm gonna double check. Yeah, currently lined up, we've got a good gun distribution. Affinity gauge is solid. Alright. So he ha he does have armor. Not on the main body, though. Or, True. sorry, the tower, which yeah. is what we need to kill first. Sort of. I need to kill the tower, however, we I can delay, delay the body. Okay, yeah, you should delay the body at least once. And shred the armor. Okay, so she's got lullaby, which we don't want. Are you going to attack the tower now? No. For that? I'm trying to hit as many of those blocks as possible. Oh, because it did do an attack there. And here's the other thing. Frag shot! Frag shot would get a little bit of both. Maybe less damage overall, but... Oh, is it repairing? Yeah, but the armor is high. Oh. It brought up the armor as well. Okay. Look but at that. But here's the thing. There's no more clock symbols, so... You can just keep attacking the tower. Yeah. Oh, now they're all going to attack. Yep. Healing up. Yeah, so I'm just going to... Torn here. Uh, frankly, could delay the tank. Uh, let's see. Nine hit attack. Oh, okay, that's not so bad. Is the tower Is not dead? done? No? Uh, it's no. repairing the control tower. So that just disables it. That means you pretty much have to take out the main body before the repair tower can get up. Because it's not even hittable at this point. Yep. Okay. Kind of rough though. Mm -hmm. 
Oh no, is it that bad cannon again? Yeah, it's charging the cannon shot. We'll definitely use her pure shot that then also takes it out. I want to see if this would push it back by a bit. It doesn't. Well, that gonna oh, have to but the, the tower pops up. We'll have at least mm -hmm. another shot on the blue. Oh, is it about ready to pop up? It'll be popping up. Anyway. Gonna defend. We have Lullaby, but I don't want that. Oh, Balman Strike. It's... No. Yep. Yeah, we that's the defend. big one. Link Attack. A link attack? Oh, I because wait, of though. them? I want to wait. Until they have no armor. Yeah, until they have no armor and the tower is up. Oh, it's going back into support mode. Yep, that's fine, though. Frankly, just going to defend. It's going to recover the main body, isn't it? A little it? bit. Yeah, it did. That's uh, open. Brave Storm attacks all enemies. Okay. okay the main body. Let's see. But see, look, it's going to repair. It does. But only 144 HP. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, I you don't want it to bring back shielding, though. Can't it's tell. Issue. Yeah, but it already did. That's the issue. I cannot tell who gets to go first. It's currently the body is going first. Yeah. The tower is going second. Nine hit attack. Yeah, it's the little one. Good time for me to defend. Fucking, they almost have the link attack. Yeah, you probably want to take the tower out if you can. Yep. Oh. If it's repairing. Now the main body's gonna attack, so you might want to delay it. I was just gonna defend again. If I know it's going to attack, I just hit the defend. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Yeah, take out that tower. Okay, I think I took it out. We have a link attack. Attack on all enemies. Chance to decrease armor rank. Mm -hmm. uh, doing it. Your shot. Yep. Yep, so it's just going to repair the tower. Oh, it's charging up. Yep. Okay, machine gun. Yeah, this will give us plenty of time. Okay. Cannon, it gets delayed. How bad? Not bad. I think at this point, just continue trying getting past the body, unless you need to get past the shield first. Uh, let's see, machine gun, skills, piercing shot. Yeah, I think we got this. All right, so just keep hitting the body, bombarding it. Yep. Okay. This Defense might get... is still active. Yep. Yep. At least I think it is. HP is looking we... a little low, and it's offering that you use the soul cannon, but we're not going to do that. Nope. Almost active. But at this point, we have more than enough HP. Mm -hmm. 
There we go. Right at the one hour mark, too. What an incredible machine! Are those children really operating it? Haha! <laughs> Would you look at glorious pretzel, uh, glorious Colonel Pretzel, defeated by mere children? Kaboom. He just has enough time to say that little monologue soliloquy. We, we did it! We won! Did we do it? Alright! I'm so relieved! It makes me really hungry. Dude, do you ever think of anything besides food? Did, do you think that Berman soldier is dead? Well, what do you think? Guys, we just killed someone. Awesome! <laughs> They're all teary-eyed, though. Ass! I mean... Level up. Levels. Oh, two-head attack. New skill mastered. Quick assault. To attack with a speed increase. We just killed someone. The children realized if they wanted to save their families, they would have no other choice but to board that machine, face the Berman army, and take the lives of enemy soldiers. This time you succeeded all on your own. I'm so proud of you. Many more enemies will stand in your way. Defeat them without remorse, or you and your precious families will perish. Everyone will die? Struck by this cruel reality, the children stood in quiet resolution. So this is war. The Tyrannus is equipped with a formidable weapon, the Soul Cannon, capable of defeating any enemy. I had to kind of slow it down because yep. that is not going swiftly enough. However, in order to function, it requires bioenergy. In other words, a single person's life. I guess I can speed it up. What? I hope you won't need to use it. You already did. <clears throat> but if it's the only way to avoid everyone's death, you mustn't hesitate. Although you may regret your actions in the moment, hesitation will only lead to certain death. I promise I will do everything in my power so that it doesn't come to that. The children couldn't comprehend everything the voice said, but this much was clear. If they hesitated, everyone would die. This horrifying reality fell heavily on their shoulders. Special Gasco Invasion Forces Berman HQ. Oh, look at this guy! Hacks! Let's see, then the devil from the old tales was in deep slumber. If that's so, then the old god can return it can also return to this land. <laughs> Wait, what lost god? I like it how he doesn't have a pipe, it's just a bone. Oh, you're right. They just chew on it. <laughs> you did well in your final moments, Kuno Pretzel. This is truly your most valuable achievement. Aww. Chapter one complete. Oh, they're so cute. The Shibe is the artist. That's nice. Three lands of Gasco. So it's this one island continent. Terra New Forest. And the Palm Plains. Is it inhabited by pom poms? I don't know. Okay. By by pom poms, I mean Pomeranians. Uh, it looks like it might be the trees, but it could be wrong. Ah. A new entry has been added to the Berman reports. Entered village. Sure. By stopping at villages, you exchange items and gather information from villagers. Select enter village. Okay. So, yep. All major si Well, this is going to give us a little bit yep. more, and then we can wrap up the episode. Yeah. It's gone on a little long. All major cities have suffered catastrophic damage due to attacks by the Burman army. Those who fled, however, created small settlements like this in various locations. People tried to make the most of their lives while distancing themselves from the gaze of the Berman soldiers. Okay, so market, windmill bridge, tower church. Cool. Or the tower square. Alright, yeah. Okay, so I'd like to look at some of this lore stuff, but like I said, this has gone on maybe a little long. 
<laughs> so I'm just gonna. Um, oh, I see. I have to keep going. So essentially, what we're probably speed. gonna do is we're gonna have a lot of cutscene story scenes between all of these major missions where we're tr we're rolling along the the ground and. Wait, wait. Yeah, we even have a journal from Pretzel. A journal from Pretzel? With the arrival of the dawn, the Gasco invasion will begin. Under the starry sky below, beyond this window, I can see all, an airship fleet. Pride and joy of our country, carrying a garrison of soldiers and weapons towards the battlefield. Whoops. Whoa. Colonel General Shaven Hacks is the supreme commander of this operation. Is it Schwein? Schwein. Schwein Hacks is the supreme commander of this operation. Not long ago, he served as a mere aide, bold and young. However, in a blink of an eye, he was promoted to lead... The entirety of this massive invasion. I suppose it's not surprising, considering his calm judgment and the ambition he shows with his words and actions. I had to say it ever since he was removed from under my supervision. His cruelty seemed to grow. I have a feeling this mission will be just as rough as the last. And also rough. the last. <laughs> rough. <laughs> oh, right. Don't we... want to make too many oh, wow. dog jokes. Love me? Yeah. Really? Yeah, there's a lot. So it looks like each character has three link scenes with each other. Give or take. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's the end card, so if we want to see this one. Boom. Oh, the end cards for the chapters? So that, how many chapters do we have then? Uh, three, six, nine, eleven, but I'm assuming ten chapters plus like a final one. Mm hmm. Could be wrong. And then. Pretzel, who is 49 years old. Cool. This is really good. Mm hmm. This is really good. I. I didn't, I'm not going to say I had no expectations going into this, but it just kind of ended up in my inbox and I was just like, oh yeah, let's check this out. Cause well, it's it, absolutely beautifully done. It, I like the characters so far. I mean, it is a group of children, yeah. but I do like the fact that they are, I I, I don't want to say necessarily that they, they seem to be fleshing out the villains to some extent. And yeah, it, yeah, it definitely evokes the sense of war-torn Europe. Yes. But you mean with the buildings in the distance and everything? 100%. I just got to check. Uh, let's see. So Is that going to stop the music? Yeah, yeah, just for a bit. I just wanted to keep ah. it one quick thing. All right, there we go. Uh, but yeah, no, it's really well made. It reminds me a lot of like Fire Emblem, but also with like a couple other games. I, I guess like the story and the plot kind of reminds me of equal parts Fire Emblem and like Valkyria Chronicles. But give it, or take. It's this, it's turn-based combat, but then you have the little segments where you get to maneuver around the ship and choose where you want to spend your AP points and yeah. cook and resource management. But because you're on this tank, you travel around the countryside Yeah, it's, with this big fortress. It's a fun way of doing it. I like it a lot. So I will say, uh, let's see, that Fuga Memories of Steel is available on, surprisingly, Steam. Uh, I don't actually know if it's on any other platforms. Like I said, it just ended up in my inbox. I'm just like, oh, yeah, this is a thing, I actually... Okay. It's on Steam. They uh, they're sending me all sorts of press releases, but I don't know mm -hmm. if they actually sent me anything else. Um... Nope. Not a clue. Wait, here we go. Maybe... What systems? Press. Because, yeah, I know it's 40 bucks on Steam, Epic Game Store, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X. Oh, really? Uh, PlayStation 4 and Switch. So, yeah, this is actually just on everything. Mm-hmm. Nice. But I, I'm i super positive about how it, it seems to play. And I know if we actually go back to the main menu, it seemed like there was a lot more kids. Save temporary and return to the title screen. Temporary save data will be deleted once loaded. Yeah, so this is very much an Iron Man kind of... Or Iron Man? Um, yeah. Wait, you have to play it Iron all Man through run. it once? Yeah, so you can't, like, go back farther. I... No, 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 no. So, the thing is, if we load back in, it's going to be after that battle. Yes. Right? Yeah, okay. but there's no, like, reloading to, like, a previous save point. It's just, like, you you just keep going. Now, based on, it looks like here we have the main crew, but then there's little girl with the red hair. There's the twins with the little helmets. Uh, there's guy with a bandana. Another, and then another girl, girl with, with a with creepy a doll. doll and then a guy. Yeah. Yeah. So they pick up at least, what, five more characters? Potentially. Yeah. To man the tank. Probably to give you some extra ammunition. <laughs> oh, no. Don't say that. With the soul cannon business. Um, oh, no. 
I guess we could have also checked on the connection screen. I bet the twins with the helmets count as one character. That I think it's yeah. a rounded out cast of quote unquote ten, where the the twins are one gameplay entity. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, really charming. Really like this game. It's it's got a like to, uh, a like. I, it's got a lot to love, and I'm a little leery of like the the dark parts of the game because I figure it might be like kind of super depressing. Mm. But as far as like alt history, World War II with like ancient technology and potentially evil gods, like well, yeah, the the lost god. Yeah, those are some tropes that really draw me in, and so I, I want to play more of this. I don't know if I'm gonna have the time, uh, but I'm glad to have done at least this this quick little one off to see how good it is. And like I said, impressions are strong. So with all of that. If you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave us a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more, let us know, because, yeah, we're just constantly bogged down in other long games, uh, but maybe we'll fit this in at some point. But, with all that said, I guess also if you want to see more just random new indie games, and just new games in general, because we got tons of them to get through, hit subscribe as well, because we have so many. <laughs> anyway, with that, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.